Hello and welcome to this new Minecraft video. I'm in 1.19 and today we are looking at how to design a cottage garden. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and ideas of how to build better in Minecraft. Now when I was thinking about the elements of a cottage garden I actually started from the point of researching how you would make a cottage garden in real life. So I took the main key elements of a real life cottage garden and applied it to Minecraft. So the main thing is that cottage gardens are very informal. I did use some images as well as inspiration and then kind of put those elements together. Now here I've used sand for the path because I wanted to kind of use gravel but the gravel was very grey so this kind of looks like like the light coloured gravel that you might get but um, I've used really wide borders here because the planting is always in kind of drifts so the borders are three blocks deep and then I have actually brought in a couple of bits of flower bed into the path. Uh, the path is one, two, three, four wide, so nice and wide, so that then I can have these little bits of flower bed that jut into the path, because in a cottage garden, generally you use plants that will spill over into the path, and obviously we can't plant plants onto the sand, so that's why I've chosen to do that. And that's why I've chosen to use some of the moss instead of the coarse dirt, because then it kind of looks like greenery and maybe looks like plants spilling onto the path. Put the leaves in first at the back to give structure and then I added the two tall flowers, so groups of twos and threes to give those kind of drift effects. And then I've put the smaller plants in and the azalea bushes in this flower bed. So give it a nice big full effect. And one of the things I did read was that in a, in a real life cottage garden is to try not to let any soil show through so that's why I have packed every single block apart from maybe that one I think I might have missed that one anyway <laughs> some of the websites said to use materials like brick and cobblestone so I've made a little winding brick path here that just kind of again wide borders here that drifts up into a little romantic arbor for seating so have lots of little spots for for kind of sitting at tables and enjoying the view i've made this out of oak trap doors and then pop some of the leaves in as well to make it look like there are plants growing up over obviously i have the better leaves mod on which does make the leaves bushier and makes it look a lot better but you'll probably get a similar effect in vanilla minecraft and that's why I've put the leaves in the bottom here as well because the bushy leaves do make the little bit stick out so it kind of looks like it's maybe a low growing plant in the flower bed. It's a nice idea if you've got a tree in a lawn is to put some flowers around the base of it just so that then there's more floral decoration. Pergolas and arbors and kind of covered walkways like this are also quite prevalent in cottage gardens so you come through here and it's very green and it's very uh, kind of overgrown again lots of plants in here and I have used the what are these I've used the spore blossoms here I have turned particles off so that you couldn't see the campfires of another <laughs> tutorial in the background <laughs> that's why these aren't aren't particling but they will only go on um moss blocks they won't go on leaf blocks so that's why i've added the mossy blocks uh, the moss blocks in there and then we've got like a, a stone brick stone cobble uh, chiseled and cra cracked and mossy stones in here just to give it the effect of like paving but just to break up the pattern a little bit and then we come through to a um a little kind of more more cobble path that curves so curving paths are good avoid the straight lines 
which means that your borders can, can be really, really deep like this. So you can pack a whole load of flowers in, again, in drifts. The other thing I've done here as well is over the fence, I've just put a random flower because cottage garden flowers tend to seed themselves all over and you, you kind of leave them where they grow. So this one's like seeded over the fence and the same with this one as well. But then when you come in here, it just gives that extra layer of effect so you can kind of see it in the background there but it makes it feel more full. That was another thing that they mentioned about cottage gardens was using fencing. They kind of said white picket fences, but I'm not quite sure that English country gardens are white picket fences, but um, I've decided to go for the birch here to kind of mimic that lighter color. And then obviously the oak for the traditional like wooden archway. Cottage gardens don't necessarily have greenhouses, but I did see a picture <laughs> with a greenhouse in and it looked lovely. And this was the best that I could do. I really wish that we had quartz walls or smooth quartz walls because this would look so much more refined with the walls on the corner. But I've just made this little greenhouse in here and had the um, st white stained glass and the plain glass just to make it look like there are more kind of supports in here. I think they are the main principles of cottage gardens. Let's go into some shaders and see what it looks like in the shaders. Ah, lovely shaders. And I did try and get the sun in the right position, but <laughs> I've kind of got it back to all of this is in the shade. So we'll just have a quick look at it like this. And the key principles again is make it all really informal do really wide borders so you can have lots and lots of drifts of flowers. Maybe add a little greenhouse in like this. Flowers around your trees. Show as little soil as possible. Have some little seating areas and arbors, walkways, curved paths and you won't go too wrong there. One tip that I did find with the new blocks, obviously I have used some coral in here and I used to use a, I think it was a spruce slab that looked best with the coarse dirt, but the mud brick slabs blend really well with the coarse dirt and I will say that I always use coarse dirt for my flower beds because obviously soil is brown and it differentiates between the grass and the flower bed. Thank you very much for watching this video about how to make a cottage garden in Minecraft. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to see more content like this. I know I haven't been around for a little while but I am trying to get back into these creative videos. If you have any idea, I've just broken something, if you've got any ideas on what kind of garden you would like me to make next then please leave it in the comments below and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye!